Hey guys, so today I'm just gonna show you what will happen or what happen if you don't update your Arch Linux for a very, very long time. Well, because of my nature of work, I haven't been home for more than three months and just today I'm gonna update my Arch Linux for the first time after three months. As you can see here, I disconnect my network first because I decided to make a video and share it with you. My current kernel at the moment is still the 5.13.8. As far as I remember, the current version now is 5.15. So let me launch the terminal at point 13 as I told you. Let's say unit R still 5.13. So you name A and the last one was August. This the kernel version that I have now on my system. I've been searching for the internet since earlier on how to show the when was the last time I ran the SYU command or full system upgrade and I found out that you can use the command like grab uh, starting full system upgrade and we can take the Backman lag on the bar, which is lag. Backman that is lag. Tail one. So this was like I show you last August. August. Uh, this is today not connected which is good and there is also you can change this to SYU so that's again last August and I think most of the time I always use the SY SYUU so the last one was August 5 and obviously this was working before and you can see my OBS is working and virtual is also working so it was working before so let me just turn on my network Take some time to gather the. Ah, now it's connected. Okay. So this time, first of all, I'm just gonna run the reflector so I can update all my mirror list. So command is sudo reflector c and the mirror list that I would like is of course Korea Hong Kong which is closer to me Taiwan Singapore and Japan and the last six protocol would be HTTPS, I would like only HTTPS and sort with rate and I 
would love to save that on let's see Batman that the Nero list that in my command and that's my password so let's just wait until it's updating the mirror list Okay, so seems like updated now with the mirror list. Now let's run the upgrade. Oh, it's only two gigabyte. So the update seems like it's a lot. Yeah, mostly it's the KDE files. Blues cuts. DKMS. really a lot Linux and a nice 515.2 Mesa drivers I have an AMD 6900 XT Pac-Man oh, I hope this will not break but let's just do a full system upgrade why not let's see what happens that's the purpose of this video Okay, now it's done. Let's see, I could read some errors in here. I'm not an expert, but I'm just gonna run one more time, see, so there's nothing to do. And then let's also upgrade all the packages from Paru or from the AUR. So it's gonna be the same. Oh, seems like a lot. So I'm just gonna break everything. longer than expected I didn't expect that the AOR packages take longer to upgrade anyway so it's upgraded now let me just run the grab command so yeah today
Okay, so I'm gonna reboot the system, but that means also I have to stop the OBS. They cannot really catch or cannot record the desktop. I'm just I'm just gonna take a video from my phone, focusing on the on the system. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Standing in the street alone, alone, alone. Her head was down, face locked onto the phone. phone. And I wished I'd had a number so I could be color unknown. unknown. And then I tell her to look into my eyes and never let it go. Alright, so I'm back with the OBS recording. I launch my terminal. So 5.15. Very nice. And the grab command. Good. Obviously there's a lot of errors which honestly I don't know. <laughs> Pump base. Okay. Fine by me. two days ago and I'm running 5.15 then alright guys so I think that's about it let me just see oh it launched okay so nothing really will happen if we don't upgrade and suddenly upgrade for a long time hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time have a good day bye